In a momentous gathering at the Embassy of Egypt, the Association of African Ambassadors' Wives in the United States, ASAA, came together to honor the International Women's Day. The event, which brought together distinguished speakers and guests, showcased a commitment to advancing gender equality and women's rights globally. Among the esteemed speakers were Mrs. Hala Youssef, the spouse of the Ambassador of Egypt, who delivered the welcome address. Her presence underscored the importance of Egypt's commitment to promoting women's empowerment and ensuring their rights are upheld. The of African Ambassador's spouses, it gives us great pleasure to have joined forces in organizing the celebration of International Women's Day. Allow me to thank our very dear President, Mrs. Salimata Touré, the spouse of the Ambassador of Cote d'Ivoire, the members of the organizing committee and all my colleagues for all the efforts that made our celebration possible today. This year, the United Nations is celebrating the day under the theme, Invest in Women Accelerate Progress. A theme that highlights the importance of gender equality, women's and girls' empowerment and health rights. So this day is a symbol of the important role of women in all facets of life, as it reflects on many achievements of women in all fields, ahead that stood in way of progress and opportunities in our ever-growing and demanding communities and nations. Today, we have a very able guest speakers who will speak to different topics related to women with special focus on our mother continent, Africa. Before we continue, I cannot but express profound heartfelt sentiments of sorrow and deep sympathies with the fallen and bereaved women, children, families of Gaza. Let us stand for a minute of silence and solidarity for the flight of Palestinians and the honor of the few sacrifices and suffering and of the hope that the war on Gaza ends immediately without further delay. Following Mrs. Youssef's address, Mrs. Salimata Toure, the spouse of the ambassador of Ivory Coast, took the stage to deliver the opening speech. Mrs. Toure's remarks highlighted the collective efforts needed to address the challenges facing women and emphasized the pivotal role of diplomacy in advancing gender equality. The Association of the Spouses of African Ambassadors have been created to foster relationship between head of African nations the diaspora and the American community. To fulfill that mission, the association aims to build both understanding and a strong community. On this annual occasion, we are gathered today in the backdrop of the 68th Commission on the Status of Women. The CSW is instrumental in promoting women's rights. The Commission is taking a leading role in monitoring and reviewing progress for a truly long term and successful change across the world. This initiative of the United Nations encourages all the relevant stakeholders to celebrate women and to engage in a collective reflection on the many challenges facing women every day. A highlight of the event was the keynote address delivered by Her Excellency Hilda Suka Mafudze, the African Union Ambassador to the USA. We have the policy frameworks in place at the moment. It's no longer like you are talking of something that people have not heard about. It's something that is in the, which is written and which the African Union is running with, that we want to, to, to amplify the voice of the woman to make that difference so that she just doesn't look at smaller businesses, but the bigger businesses. And then how do we get into these big, bigger businesses? That comes after when we have come together, like we have done today, to say, where do we want to go to? What project are we looking at? 
that we can say it is women um is ambassador's wives what have we done that we can put out there and they say that's ours it's, it's about coming together on your own yes you can do things we are doing this all of us me here i have my chickens back home <laughs> and i'm asking every day if you clean the, the traps the chicken traps I, I i call zimbabwe so how far is it oh and they going to get me a video in order we're doing this more than this yes we got to feed the families but it's going to be guys what stops us we are the ceos she said it and then what are what are we saying about being the ceos it means a lot it means we can do the best that we can well, what I'm seeing, that's me here now, and don't cut me. <laughs> what I'm seeing at the moment is that the world will be peaceful when it's run by women. Okay. <laughs> Throughout the event, there was a palpable sense of solidarity and determination among attendees to continue advocating for gender equality and women's empowerment. Discussions revolved around strategies to break down barriers, promote inclusivity, and ensure that the voices of women are heard and valued in all spheres of society. In addition to the speeches, the event featured performances and exhibitions celebrating the achievements and resilience of women from diverse backgrounds. The celebration at the Embassy of Egypt, organized by ASAA, served as a poignant reminder of the importance of collective action in advancing women's rights. By bringing together diplomats, activists and advocates, the event underscored the need for sustained commitment and collaboration to create a more just and equitable world for all.